Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and this time we're going to learn solving quadratic equations. So ayan, bago tayo magsimula, subscribe, like, and share po ang ating video para mas marami pang makanood at matuto sa mga math tutorial videos na meron tayo ngayon. Ayan, gaya nga po ng sabi ko kanina, for our second video, we are going to discuss about solving quadratic equations. But for now, we are going to focus our discussion on one method by extracting the square root. So as a form of review, balikan lang natin yung square root principle. If x squared is equal to a and a is greater than or equal to 0, then x is equal to the positive and negative square root of a. To further understand the principle, we have here two examples. We have square root of 100 and square root of 16. Upon analysis, we have square root of 100 is equal to positive negative 10 since 10 times 10 is 100 and negative 10 times negative 10 is also 100. Likewise, the square root of 16 is equal to positive negative 4 since 4 times 4 is 16 and negative 4 times negative 4 is also 16. So in other words, the square root of x is equal to plus minus a if the square root of x can be expressed and be simplified as the product of two a's. Dapat parehas yung factor ng given natin. In such way that the square root of a times a can be simplified as the square root or the perfect root. Another example is if we have square root of 81, we can rewrite it as 9 times 9. Ba? Or square root of 9 times 9 under the square root principle. So we know for a fact that 9 times 9 is equal to 81 and therefore we can say that 9 is the square root for 81. So we can have our answer as the positive negative 9. So another helpful tip is that you try to memorize and familiarize yourselves with the square roots of even bigger numbers. Siguro until 15, that will be very helpful for you. Now, how is the square root principle be applicable to solving quadratic equations? Remember the variation that we have last time? So kapag ang nakita nating problem ay quadratic equation na walang bx, definitely what we're going to use is to apply extracting the square roots. Let us say for instance, we have x squared minus 9 equals 0. What are we going to do? if that is the case of our problem. The first step to do is to add the additive inverse of the constant. Ano po ba ang additive inverse ng negative 9? What will make negative 9 become 0? So we have to add 9 on both sides of the equation. So x squared minus 9 plus 9 is equal to 0 plus 9. Remember, we have to add the additive inverse. The next step of the solution is to simplify and combine like terms. So we have x squared, negative 9 plus 9 is equal to 0. So we do not need to rewrite it down. Equals 0 plus 9 is 9. Now, we already have x squared equals 9. Then, the final step is to get the square root of both sides. So, we take the square root of x squared and we take the square root of 9. We can express this as x times x. So, and on the other hand, 9 can also be transformed or rewritten as 3 times 3. 
So we have the square root of x squared become x and the square root of 9 is positive negative 3. Ano napansin nyo? Kanina pa tayo nagkakaroon ng answer na positive negative 3, positive negative 4, positive negative 10, right? That is because for every quadratic equation, there must be two answers to be found. Then therefore, we can express our final answer as x sub 1 is equal to positive 3 and x sub 2 is equal to negative 3. That is the meaning of having a plus minus sign for a number. That signifies that we have two answers for this set of equation. Okay? Another case is that if we analyze the value of our constant, it doesn't have a perfect square root. For instance, we have x squared minus 24 equals 0. Then how are we supposed to solve it? So ang gagawin muna natin ay, again, ano nga yung first step natin? To add the additive inverse of the constant term. So that is, we have x squared minus 24 plus 24 is equal to 0 plus 24. Then the next step, simplify and combine like terms. We have x squared, then we don't have to rewrite this, equals 24. Now there you have it. Meron kang x squared minus 24. What should we do now? If the radicand is not a perfect, or if the number is not a perfect square root, Diba? Upon square, upon extracting the root, diba? so we will have x is equal to the positive negative square root of 24. What to do is that to simplify the non-perfect square root. Paano yun? Review. So review natin, paano ba tayo nagsisimplify ng square root ng hindi perfect square root yung number? So we have here square root of 24, for example. Then, what we need to do first is to think of possible factors of 24 in such way that the first factor must be a perfect square root and the second one is not. Then we list down the factors, no? We can have 1 times 24, we can have 2 times 12, we can have 3 times 8, we can also have 4 times 6. Now, on these pairs of factors, which among these factors contains one perfect square root factor and one non-perfect square root factor. Yung 1 times itself or yung 1 times 24, last option na natin siya pag wala talaga. 2 times 12 is not considered. 3 times 8 is not considered. Bakit sila hindi considered? Because there are no factors among those pairs na perfect square root. Now, we only have 4 times 6 and 1 times 24. Then we choose 4 times 6 para mas ma-express na natin kagad yung kanyang lowest term because 1 and 24 will be just the same with our given. So that is the square root of 4 times the square root of 6. There we have it. After factoring it, we have to extract the perfect square root of the perfect nth root factor which is 4. Now, what is the square root of 4? 2. Then, what we need to do with the non-perfect factor is to just copy it. So, the simplified form of square root of 24 must be equal to 2 square root of 6. There we have it. So, we now know that the square root of 24 must be equal to the positive negative, yes, correct, we have to get the simplified form of the square root of 24, which is 2 square root of 6. So, there we have it. The final answer must be equal to positive negative 2 square root of 6. So, meron kang positive 2 square root of 6 at meron kang negative 2 square root of 6 as your answer. 
other cases of solving quadratic equations using extracting the square root involves complex equations. For example, in this case, we have 4x squared minus 9 equals 71. So, on the first glance, hindi natin nakikita na may perfect square root, tapos biglang may number na sa unahan ng x squared. So, we cannot just proceed with our usual step. So, what we need to do first is to simplify the equation. Siyempre, as deemed necessary by the operations involved. So, paano ba natin siya isi-simplify? Dapat mag-cast away natin lahat ng numbers na malapit kay x. Dapat si x ay matitira or si x squared ay matitira lang siya on the left side alone. We need to add the additive inverse of 9 to both sides of the equation. So that is 4x squared minus 9 plus 9 equals 71 plus 9. Then, next step. Very good. So we have to combine like terms. So lahat ng constant, i-add natin together. So, 4x squared is equal to 71 plus 9. We have 80. Then, ano pa yung nakikita nyong kasama ni x squared? Yung 4. So, we have to divide it further by 4 to, to isolate x squared. So, x squared na lang siya is equal to 80 divided by 40. We have 20. Now, getting the square root of x squared and 20, we have x is equal to perfect square bang 20. If not, then we simplify it. 20 is equal to 4 times 5, correct? Yes. Then, we have to extract the perfect square root of 4 and copy 5. So, that is 2 square root of 5. Then, the final answer must be equal to x is equal to to positive negative 2 square root of 5. There you have it. For other examples, kindly try to study the following slides that I will be presenting. And for your practice, I want you to answer the following items right on your screen. So, ayan, nag-enjoy ba kayo? Natutunan nyo ba? At may question ba? You can comment down below for clarification and additional information. So, that's all for today. See ya next time. Please do subscribe, comment, follow, and share. Para maraming matuto like you. Bye!